Hi there, I'm Thomas Michaud from StarlandGuitar.com. I got an email yesterday about a budding guitarist wanting to purchase an acoustic guitar and asking for some advice. This is Liz and she asked, I'm looking for a guitar and I was wondering if I could have some guidance. I have honestly never played, but I want to learn. And I've been doing the research and I'm interested in a dreadnought acoustic style. I'm looking for a good beginner guitar that has a little character in it. I kind of on a budget and I don't have a lot of money, but I would like to get a good guitar. Thanks. So as you can imagine, uh, a lot of money and a good guitar are both very subjective. But since she's a brand new beginner and she's asking for help, I think I can give some suggestions here. Uh, she did narrow it down to a dreadnought style guitar, so I'll, I'll stick to that. And uh, I know she's a brand new beginner. I'd suggest something in the price range of two to three hundred dollars. And it's kind of tricky buying a used guitar. I'd recommend if it's your first guitar, you go to a store or you find out a model that you really want and stick with that, a brand new guitar with a warranty. And from a reputable dealer that if there is a problem, you got somebody to go back to. The acoustic guitars that I think are the most bang for the buck for beginners right now are Yamaha, Fender, and Takamini. Also some good guitars are Siegel, Alvarez, and Ibanez. They make some nice acoustic guitars as well. Now right now I'm really digging that Yamaha FG 730S. That's a, the S stands for solid top. And for under 300 bucks, that's a lot of bang for the buck. And Yamaha is really good at consistent quality. Get a case. I don't like hard shell cases. They weigh a ton. I don't want to carry it around. They're good protection, but I'm not into it. Um, I'd recommend one of the Access cases, that's the brand, and the model is either a Upstart, which is their lower priced ones, or their Stage 1, which is a little better. Pretty good protection, but a soft case and very light. They're fairly inexpensive, by the way, and I, I think they have sufficient protection. Now, if you're going on a plane, I wouldn't check it in whether you got a hard case or a soft case. Um, it's too risky, even, even the way they treat guitars and luggage, I wouldn't do it. I always take my guitar on the plane and stick it up in the overhead. And so far, I've always been able to get by. When you buy an acoustic guitar, make sure the action is reasonable. The action is how high the strings are off the neck of the guitar. Now, if you buy it from a store, try it out or have the salesperson try it out. And if it's a little high, see if they can adjust it. Even if it costs a couple of bucks, it's probably worth it. It'll make it a lot easier to play. I'd stay away from used guitars. There's a lot of things that you have to look for. And unless you're experienced, you're really taking a big risk. The other thing is it is possible to adjust the guitar yourself, but unless you're really good at mechanical stuff, I'd stay away from that and I'd let a professional do it. If you are willing to do it and you're willing to take the risk of actually screwing up your guitar, then go for it. But make sure and do your research on the web first and make sure you know what you're doing. I have a couple extra tips here for you. If the strings hurt your finger, put some lighter strings on the guitar. You can put extra lights. It'll be easier on your fingers. Or another possibility is something called silk and steel. These are strings that are designed to be softer on the fingers. They are almost in between a steel string and like a nylon string. Fortunately, they don't sound as good as a steel string, but it's a good compromise if you're learning. I prefer the regular steel strings on the guitar. They ring and are clearer. Also, take some lessons either online from a good organized system or from a reputable private teacher. The beginning is where it's most important and the beginning habits are what either will work for you or hold you back for a long time. Well, that's it for now. I hope that's been some help. If you like this, check out my blog at StarlandGuitar.com. You'll find a lot of guitar tips for beginning guitar players. Bye for now.